Listen, man, this is a million dollars worth of game, man. Boxing edition with the one, the only Shakur Stevenson, man. Jersey's finest, man. Listen, this boy right here, man, he been ducking me for a while. I don't know why. <laughs> I try to spar him in all different types of states. You know, I don't know we had to get a uh, commission, the laws. There's always an excuse, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's my ACL, sometimes, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just don't know. But these young boys keep ducking me and Gil. I don't know why. I, you know, and, but I know that's the sport of boxing now. Everybody's ducking. You know what I mean? The Logan, you know, the logo of boxing should be duck. Now, I'm going to get straight to it. Why people keep ducking? Like, like what's going on, man? Why do they keep ducking you, man? I think, um, man, I think boxing got a, a bunch of soft like, I think it's a lot of soft who don't want to lose. Like, a lot of people who don't want to lose. And the thing with me, um, I, I embarrass a lot of fighters. So, like, you watch my fights, I beat people up and embarrass them. So I don't think people want to be embarrassed. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Zip Recruiter. Did you know that if you're an employer who's hiring, the average cost per hire is $4,700? If you're investing that much into each new hire, you want to get it right. So the most effective way to find the best people for your roles is Zip Recruiter. See for yourself right now. You can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash game and experience the value ZipRecruiter brings to hiring. ZipRecruiter lets you try before you commit. There's no cost to try ZipRecruiter. So you can just go there right now, do 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 whoop bop bing, get online. There's no cost. You can post jobs for free so that you can see for yourself how effective ZipRecruiter is in helping you hire. It's simple. ZipRecruiter helps you get the right hire. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter finds a qualified candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to exclusive web address to try ZipRecruiter for free before you commit ZipRecruiter.com slash game. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash game. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Right. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by... Body Armor. From sports drinks to sports water, Body Armor keeps us hydrated all day long. Whether we're talking, watching, or even playing sports, Body Armor, our go-to choice. Like, no matter what we're doing, Body Armor, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of the water. The Body Armor water all oh, oh, keeps me hydrated. Real hydration, real ingredients packed with electrolytes, vitamins, and nothing artificial. Body Armor has a great tasting flavor like strawberry banana and blue raspberry. The best athletes in the world hydrate with Body Armor, like Ronald Acuna Jr., Christian McCaffrey, Alex Morgan, and the latest athlete to join the team. Touchdown, Joe. Burrow. Ah, shout out to Joe Burrow on the team. Body armor, doing your thing right. Waiting to see what type of season you had this year. So when you're out and about at your local, at your, you know, wherever you at, your local retail store, your local supermarket, your local, wherever you're at, when you come across that body armor, get you some. Body armor is available at stores nationwide nationwide but make sure you go to the body armor store on amazon and get yours today right did you think do you think floyd played a major part in that though people not wanting to lose because so many of the young fighters now look up to floyd and floyd was so big on i never lost i never lost i never lost i never lost so you know fighters before floyd a loss didn't didn't it didn't determine who you was it was the best fought the best you might have had an off night you lose you lose but now the younger fighters at the floyd everybody whole thing is i'm undefeated i can't be beat i ain't you think floyd played a major role in that i, th I think floyd played a big role in that but like with me i think it's a lot different like honestly like my honest opinion when it comes to stuff like that I'm not like I'm not scared of taking chances. Right. Like I'm not scared. Money don't make no money. Right. So I'm not scared to put everything on the line. Like losing don't 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 give me fear. Right. I'm the type of person I want to take every risk that I can. I want to challenge myself. I want to 
I like competition. Competition like makes me thrive. So right. um, honestly, I do think Floyd played a part in that, but you can't blame Floyd. No, nah, I ain't blaming him. I'm yeah. saying that's just his personality. But you know, when a lot of times when you somebody and you look up to somebody, yeah. You want to be like that person. You want to be similar Everybody to that person. Like right. You know what I mean? You kind of take on what he took on. Like, yeah, I'm I'm undefeated. Yeah, but, that was a big thing about Floyd. Like, but, nobody can't beat me. But we can't forget that there was other great fighters in our generation. Uh, I mean, in other generations, like Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hearns, Roberto Duran. Um, fighters who wasn't fought, undefeated for everybody. Everybody. They wasn't undefeated, and they are great. Like but they are absolutely. In the sport of boxing. To me, the, to me, the, the greatest probably fighter of all time is Muhammad Ali. He got a bunch of losses, but just the trials and tribulations that he had to go through, the setbacks that he had to go through, yep. him him not even allowing to be great in his prime because of the situations he had to go through, and then him still come out and be who he is. You know, that, that just did a lot for, for not only boxing, but a lot for black people. Yeah, I think I think uh, you can't really pinpoint one greatest of all right, time. Right, Just because of the fact that it's opinionated. Absolutely. In my opinion. That's why I said my opinion. <laughs> my opinion as of right now, I'm going to go with Floyd. Right. Just because that was who I seen in my generation. Absolutely. But um, other people that's older than me, they be thinking... Uh, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray, uh, Sugar Ray, Ray, Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson. Sugar yeah. That's what Robinson. I heard a lot. He was he was he was smooth. He was that guy. Mike Tyson. He got a lot of people, but like, I think I think people be over overdoing the whole loss. Like, be, you know, I think you still could be a great fighter if you go in there and every because people, right? If you got wins a lot. You can have losses. You got four. If you get in there and you go in, people is always gonna pay this. They gonna pay their pay per view to see you because they know you coming. And you ain't playing. Like like for instance, me. My personal record, you know, people people that know me know mixed martial artists and they I'm a great fighter. I'm seven and thirty-one, but I still came through to do. I didn't get them thirty-one fights, you know. I, I did, did what I needed did to do. Did you fight everybody though? I fought everybody I needed to fight, so it was like it was, you know. Did you fight the best though? I got no. 30, thirty-one losses. <laughs> it was all a journey, man. Oh. <laughs> Bob, I wasn't scared to fight he nobody. Was a though. loser. People be scared. People be scared. Listen, I'm, this is what I'm saying. Everybody is scared to fight. I can't even, I, listen, I'm going to be straight up. I wasn't seasoned in the, the business of boxing. I'm still not that well versed, but I'm just saying from understanding on the aspect of like, damn, how you just could, I thought they supposed to fight them. The number one team played the number one team, right? Yes. The play, it's like, the, I'm thinking like the playoffs. Oh, damn, they ready to fight. Gil like, no, they ain't going to fight. Why? Because this promoter, oh, this ain't happening. This ain't this much, this much. So my whole thing is, when you and Devin going to fight? I mean, at the end of the day, um, I want to fight. Like, I, I'm a fighter. I love boxing. I love boxing. I, all I do is sit and watch boxing all day, every day. Um, I came up, when I came up, we for everybody. You know me for going to spar everybody in the entire world, right? I go spar any fighter you can think of I done been in the ring with. That's because I'm not scared. I'm a fighter who I want to challenge myself against the best. I've always been that way. Um, me and Devin is not fighting because of Devin. Devin and them had they little situation that they try to throw out there some little chump change. They want What's to chump change? Is it percentage? Yeah, chump change is, is, I'll tell you exactly what it is. They offered me less than I made in my last three fights for supposedly the biggest fight of my career. I didn't. So you mean all three fights together, less than them three? Less than the, my last three fights? was um I ain't, I ain't you ain't seen the money the money don't get into yeah, money yeah, right, but you right. just saying the last three fights together this is gonna be less no 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 he's saying the last three fights like so say if i made x amount of money this fight then i made x amount of money this fight then i made x amount of money this fight and then now i'm supposed to be fighting uh this supposed to be a big fight but y'all trying to give me less than what i made in them three fights i fought yoshino i fought oscar valdez i fought robson kunsese style i made more in them fights than what I was offered to fight him. Well, let me ask you a question. But hold on, but they put it in the media that they offered you 25%. And that's a lie. Oh, well, no, no, they did offer me. Okay, uh, okay. That, that's they, true. They, they put it in the media. I don't know if they put it in the media. I ain't going to say that. I'm going to say it was in the media. Right. It was in the media. That's why we're going to straighten it out now. That they gave you 25% that, and that 25% would have came out to be more money than you ever made That's that was the reports in the media and and they put a specific number out there too like eight million exactly they say eight million i now, see everything so if it was eight million right how much would he have made let me ask you a question 32 million right all right 
30, it would have been what? 32, right? Yeah. Something like that. 32 yeah. million, now they got eight. Or right? 24 million. Whatever it was. Yeah, because if he's giving you 25, cool. he's taking right, it. Right, yeah. right. Smart man, smart man. But look, 24, you think he was making $24 million versus me? Top rank is doing the fight. Top rank is doing the fight. How, how in the world would I be, if I was offered 8 million, I'm jumping. Jump quick, quick, quick. Come on. 8 million, let's do it. Set it up. You know what I, this is what I wonder. This lies. No There's so no, many lies. No doubt in your mind. I'm a, I, and I'm gonna flip it up. No doubt in your mind. You, you, you getting in the ring. You beating Devin Haney. Now, I'm a, uh, is, is, is another one after that? I, let me ask you a question. Then I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna answer your question with a question. Do you have two eyes? Yes. Can you pay attention to boxing? Look at him and look at me. I actually got three. I got third eye, but that's another story. I, I, but I'm gonna say Look at him and look at me, though. You, I'm, I'm a way better fighter than him. He's not on my level. Now I'm going to say this. If you know you're a better fighter than him, I know money is money. You're not, you got money. You got a bag. You're not yeah. broke. Why not say, you know what? I'm going to take that to beat your ass I, and take your hope. I didn't say no. I went to another direction because that's the twist narrative because they only focus on one thing. I, I went another direction. I said, okay, I'm going to enforce the WBC to do their job. So I enforced my mandatory. Once I enforced my mandatory, this man gave up the belt and moved up to 140. Who is ducking who? I, I, inf I didn't say, okay, I, he I hear y'all a little offer. Cool, I'm going to just go this route. I'm going to go this way. I do that, and then this man moves up to 140. I can't control what this man do. I can't control what other fighters do. Y'all clearly see there's a million people that don't want to fight me. It's a million fighters that don't want to get in the ring with me. Is it frustrating sometimes, or do you ever say to yourself, I'm not going to get that big fight I deserve? It's stressful. It's, it's very stressful and frustrating because this is what I do for a living. I do this every day of my life. I love boxing. So at the end of the day, it's stressful, it's frustrating, but um, I believe in God, and I know that um, God is God has everything written down already. So. What's happening right now is meant to happen, and what's going to happen in the future for me is going to happen the, the way that it's supposed to happen. Your list. Who the top five fighters you want to fight right now? Be like, yo, what's it like right now? I want to fight y'all. Uh, number one, Tank. Okay. I mean, honestly, number one, Tank. Me, me and Tank is the, the best fight. I think that's the fight. It ain't, you, you could name 15 other fighters, but it's one fight that, that truthfully need to happen. What's boxing. stopping that fight? I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't, I'm not the, I'm not Tank at the end of the day. I'm gonna be real, like real, I'm a real nigga. So I'm gonna tell y'all like the real, the truth. I'm not Tank, he's the big star. He's the pay-per-view star. Um, I can't, I can't throw no offers to Tank. I'm not, who am I to throw an offer to the biggest star in boxing? What I'm offer him, what? Like it don't make sense. So um, that will have to be on their part, on their team to, 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 to want to do that. I want to do it. I, I would love that fight. I think that's the best fight in boxing. If we speaking like skills wise, he's not gonna tell y'all that because however he be thinking, he think the way that he think. But me truthfully, I think that's the best fight in boxing and I wanna prove to the world who I truly am. So you can name five fighters, but all them other dudes don't matter. It's one person I really got my mind on at the end of the day that I really wanna fight when it comes down to it. You be training all the time. You 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 so eager to fight, but it's like every time a fight pop up, it it disappears. Cause this what happened with Frank Martin? He, he's a He's a That is a straight I've never seen nobody more made than Frank Martin. Frank Martin is the most bitches in the world. Like, I done DM this. Mind you, I would never had that thought if I didn't have a DM conversation with the I talked to this on the DMs. I explained this man, look, this is how much money the fight is. We, me and you, you're not that big of a name, bro. You don't bring nothing to the table. I'm, I'm the name. So this how much the fight is worth. This man sat there in the DMs after I told him, I told him, look, I'm getting this much, you get this much. He tried to act like it wasn't 25%, but it is. Um, he wanted, he wanted, he wanted 50-50. 50-50 yeah. or he's not fighting me. And it don't make sense, that don't make sense to me. Like why would I fight Frank Martin? He never won a title. He never been in a, a he never even, he never done nothing in the sport of boxing. No, I, I like Frank Martin as a fighter. He's a I don't think he, I don't think that, you know, in He's a, 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 a purse dispute with you, I don't think he should get 50%.
He don't think that. I'm gonna say this. He's just scared. He's not going to fight unless it's what a, a cash out number. Just like other fighters, Lemachenko was offered the most money in his career to fight me. Why not fight me? The most you're older is the end of your career. Why not take the most money in your career to fight in a, one of the biggest fights in boxing? Why not? Is is the is the, is the purse dispute the new duck? Yes. That's a new form of ducking. Yes, because ask for something that you know you're not that you know you're not even on the level of getting. That's just the new way of saying I don't want to fight you. I mean, honestly, you gotta understand. Like with Frank Martin, let me explain this too, cause I forgot to say this. I'm gonna tell you his person. I'm gonna be real about the whole situation. His highest payday was two hundred and fifty thousand. We offered him a million dollars. Two, 250,000 four times. That, that means we offered yeah. quadruple more than he ever made in his entire career. This man agreed, and I don't know if it was him who agreed. I think it was his team. His team agreed to the fight and then pulled out the fight. How is that, how is that not a duck? That means you're scared for your life, bro. But would it, be better, would it be better for him not to fight you, keep fighting dudes and on your level, get his jacket beefed up more, and still get the money without taking the L and taking a million dollars. Because guess what? He's going to go fight. No, I, I disagree with that. Because his next fight, he's going to go fight somebody probably never heard of and make another $250,000 or two seventy five dollars when he could have been fighting me. But truthfully, when it really comes down to it, I think fighters just don't believe in themselves. Fighters don't believe it because I'm... I mean, the only reason why, because I, I, I heard Frank say that he want to fight you. But he don't believe in this. But no, but I'm saying before even y'all was even, even talking and he about. He spoke on my situation. Yeah, I that heard. man spoke on my situation with me and Devin trying to chime in on his thoughts. I seen it on the situation he don't know nothing about, and then now he in the situation and his goofy ass shut up and fold. I'm gonna say this. He said something right. Fighters don't believe in themselves because them 31 fights that I lost, I always believed that I could win. Yeah, I, mean, I believe that I could win. You couldn't. It wasn't you about couldn't. that. It's about belief. Man, he said something very important. The, no, no, no. Right, right. Yeah, he got knocked <laughs> out. I thought I, was, I just needed that one win, but it, I beat the first seven, 31 I lost. But my whole thing is like this, though. It's like, he said something very important. They know, people be knowing what time it is. You and, see what I'm and, saying? And, and let me say this. They don't believe in that's why. That's why you got to respect somebody like Errol Spence. Exactly. You gotta respect gotta him because respect him. he took a nice ass with him, man. Just keeping it real. And he was not stopping. And he was not stopping. He gave it everything he got, and then he activated his rematch clause. Cause he's a you dog. You gotta respect the dog. dog like that. You I gotta be you. like, dog salute. Cause you really a dog. You really, bro. In boxing, bro, the worst thing you could do in boxing, bro is go out on your stool. I don't want to fight no more. That's like the ultimate Not him, he didn't do that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, even when the ref was like, Errol was like, like, what you mean? Like, like good dog, it's over, bro. He, he had a better night than you tonight. You, so, you can't, you can't, you gotta, you gotta respect Shakur. Because, don't, a call tank out and just trying to get a payday. Know they going to sleep. He really think he going to win. It's a difference. You got to respect Boots because Bud is a bad mother. But Boots would take that fight at the drop of a dime. Like, let's go. Because I'm willing, if you beat me on that night, I'm willing to say, you a bad mother. Facts, facts. You got me. Facts. It, you feel what I'm saying? And that's really what sports is about. What's the the best playing the best, the best fighting the best, the, the best, best against the best. And then at the end of the day, we might talk shit. We might, him and Tank, they, they, they go back and forth. They had a disputes. After, I guarantee you, after they get in that ring and they throw punches at each other, when that mother bell go ding, they both gonna go. Because it's a sign of respect. Like, no, we gotta hear You a dog, you a dog too. So at the end of the day, man, this is about selling fights 
and making money. That's it. Why you time is here? This stage, y'all gotta capitalize to make the most, most money, money in your life that y'all can possibly make. Man. But it's hard to do that when everybody is scared. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Shopify. Abandoned carts, rejected payments, spotty support. If you're selling online and something just isn't working, you deserve an upgrade. You deserve Shopify. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of business worldwide. Whether you're a garage entrepreneur or IPO ready, Shopify is the only tool you need to start, run, and grow your business without the struggle. Shopify puts you in control of every sale channel. So whether you're selling satin sheets from Shopify's in-person POS system or offering organic olive oil on Shopify's all-in-one e-commerce platform, you're covered. And once you've reached your audience, Shopify has the Internet's best converting checkout to help you turn them from browsers to buyers. And one thing about Shopify, I know Wilder used to sell all his uh, books and all of his, uh, I think, believe, merch. I, I know he used to sell a bunch of stuff on Shopify and he used to show me them numbers and whew, they were great. Shopify is award winning here to help you support your success every step of the way. So sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash million, all lowercase. Once again, go to shopify.com slash million and take your business to the next level today. Shopify. Like, only way, I feel like only way somebody gonna fight me if I go have a bad performance. Absolutely, if you go in and you get touched somebody, up, that's the only way everybody gonna come And it's not happening. Hey. <laughs> Everybody gonna come looking for you going in, you Facts. get touched up. Facts. Because let's be for real. What fight was it after Eastside Cruz first fight with Tank? You see a bunch of motherfuckers start to call Tank out. Because that was the, like one of the first things you seen that he didn't ice. He didn't so he was like, oh, wait. So that's how it go. You go in there, you have a you know, you, Dev go in there, he get rock with one punch by Lenaris and do a little walk over to the corner, get his shit together. He cooled the rest of the fight. But they still looking at that like, I got a shot at him. Boots go in there, he fighting that ran for 12 rounds straight. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about nine That's stop. different though. This nigga was in the best shape of his life. That's different though. You feel what I'm saying? He, he won every round and just talk shit like. Nah, but people still knew Boots was a dangerous. Bad yeah, but, but still the media still talk Oh, for sure. He he didn't put on a performance, bro. I just fought a, That's a, a life we live. Another professional grown man that didn't throw no punches, didn't give me no opportunities for counter punches, and all he did was run from side to side. And then he get in there with Vila. V, I'm gonna say this. Ooh, he Vila, smoked. Oh, but hold, hold, hold. Well, let me say this. We was in the back when it was over. This boy Vila, he's a different type of monster. He wasn't taking the wheelchair. He just was on some. He 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 was a savage man. Seeing that fight and seeing how he just kept going, kept going. And that's kept, a perfect example of somebody who got in the ring and lost. And lost. And I left that arena. He put it on the line and you I respect that. I left that arena with, I left that a lot of arena respect. a Villa fan. Yep. Like that is a gangster. Facts. He took a hellacious ass whooping and did not fold, did not give quit, up. Quit, nothing. Did not quit. And kept trying. I left the arena with more respect for the dude. So, okay. That's why I respect Earl so much. I think Earl. Earl's a monster. A he's yeah. a legend. People gotta give he's Earl a monster. Spence his respect because Earl Spence is a legend. Right, his absolutely. mentality is, it comes second to none. Right. Nobody has that mentality you got. Nobody. And, and, and I'm gonna say this too. Let's give Terrence Crawford his flowers yes. because everything he said he was gonna do. He done it. He did it. Um, but but the greatest. He done it. My so, eyes. And he was confident on the com, he even when he came greatest. to our show. That, oh, that, well, well, he definitely one of the greatest just in that, his accolades alone. He's done shit that Floyd Mayweather ain't done. Yeah. Like what? L like what? Audience that don't know. He is two -time a two-time undisputed. undisputed champion. Floyd wasn't a one-time undisputed champion. So he has all the belts in one division, and then moved up and got all the belts in another division. I don't know if that's ever happened in the history of boxing. Yes, and he beat the man. And he beat the man to do it. Errol was the man. Errol was the top dog. Errol had the three belts. 
he had the WBO. You feel what I'm saying? So it, if it come down, so so if Errol, so if Terrence Crawford fight ten more times and he go fifty and no, and two time undisputed champion and a champion, three weight division champion, because he had a belt at 135. Is he the greatest fighter of all time? I mean, yeah. I, I would say, what if, in what my if he, eyes, yeah. Listen, what if Terrence Crawford don't go 50 and 0? What if he go 44 and 0? But he go 44 and 0, okay, Floyd, you got six more fights, because you said Floyd is the best fight in yards. Floyd, you got six more fights than me, but I got 10 more belts than you. I mean, like I said with Bud, I think um, when it comes to Bud, I think a lot of people took credit away from a lot of his wins. Like, I feel like when they kept throwing it out there that he didn't fight nobody. Um, well, he did. I disagree with that. Bro. I disagree with that. Why that do people logic, hope? Why do that people say that? That logic is terrible. No, anybody bro. you get in a ring with is a chance no, no, no. you can lose. He didn't fight nobody that was on that level. That's what we saying. No, Not he didn't fight bro. nobody. That shit don't mean nothing. You, no no you can get in a, a motherfucker ring with a C plus fighter and if he clip you good enough you can go to, to sleep no. so he fought somebody no. but come on bro I think he fought people Julius and Dongo we can't that's the you named the worst person on the resume Victor Postal that's that's a bad um, name that ain't a good that ain't and a during in, that time, in order to say I'm, I'm saying during that time when he fought him he was let's, overhyped let's be, he was overhyped what he had Victor beat, Postal um, is like what, what's bro, that you know you talk to a boxer hard. Right? yeah I'm, okay. I'm a boxer Victor Postal's like this. A lot of people couldn't deal with that. A lot of people can't deal with that style. A lot of people can't deal with that he style. Can't deal with that. Come on, a lot man. of people can't deal Come with that on, boxing man. style. He's jumping up in the air. He's a boxer know how to use his range and his, and his distance. A lot of people can't deal with that style. But okay, in order for me, this 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 how I look at it. In order for me to say, you know, you beat top tier, you gotta say, okay, well, what did they do in the sport? No, no, you can't because Cause let me tell you what the problem is. Now this is where everything's get down. messed up. Hold up, hold up. This is where everything gets messed up. When after somebody fights Bud Crawford, fight is not the same. So you can't judge what they done after they fought Bud Crawford because he done he done messed them up okay. mentally, physically. Well, maybe you know more possible. than me on that tip. That's all I'm trying to tell you. So so you saying Errol Spence not gonna be the same in his next fight? I'm not disrespecting Errol like that. I'm just saying, far as in the past history. That I done seen Well, fighters. he just fought Bud, though. He just fought Bud. You see anybody that fight Bud? Like you just said anybody that fight Bud. They differently. They they don't different. be backing hey, down. Hey, look. You, you told me to ask you to bring Her, Harold is my brother. So I'm That's not, my brother, too. So I'm, I'm sticking. You feel me? I'm sticking that way. But I just feel like anybody that fought Terrence Crawford, after they fight him, they're not the same fight. Terrence versus Floyd Nate Prime. Ooh, hell of a fight. I can't give you an answer. What you mean? You got to give me an answer. I can't. I, you <laughs> pose it. Now, look, this is what I say. But this is what I say. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pretty boy banging with Bud would have been hard as shit. He couldn't go in there and have an all-out war. Because remember, Pretty boy was when he fought DeMarcus Chop Chop Corley. Uh, he went in there. He pressed Chop Chop out, but he kind of got hurt. Well, all due respect, I love Floyd. You know, I love you. My guy. But... Bud, I don't think like at that point in time, Pretty Boy could have could have gotten a ring with Bud because Bud was real strong. Now, Money May, like his intelligence and the smartness that he had and the boxer that he was, I think that that would have been a hard fighter for um, Bud to, to be in front of. So it would have been like a it's a fifty fifty fight for me. Like, I think that's a fifty fifty fight. If you, if, if if they gave you. Five hundred thousand. and said you gotta bet it the date on the fight. Who you I can't on? bet it. And they would say they prime. But they gave I it to you. It. They said you gotta bet it. I couldn't bet it. This ain't even your money. <laughs> I and couldn't Bud, bet it. And listen, and Bud is plus money. Plus, okay, plus, plus one sixty five. I, I got you. You know what I'm gonna bet on? Bet on the draw. Oh man. I'm <laughs> bet on the draw. Are you serious, <laughs> man? Bet on the draw. That's I like, can't pick that. That is it's hard to pick. With somebody so intelligent, and then you got somebody like Bud that's. A uh, great boxer, but he got power in both hands, could switch. And he's a southpaw. But Floyd is the smartest fighter that I, I've probably ever seen in the history of boxing. It's hard to give you a real answer. But I you know they say, him. they know that you know they say at the age you are now, right? They say when Floyd Mayweather was that age, he got hit with 8% of the punches thrown at him. Yeah. You know they say you get hit with 4% of the punches thrown at you. Now my defense, my defense crazy though. Mm. I got great defense. 
You know, I was watching one fight, you ain't get hit with a jab until the sixth round. For real? I, I believe it. Like I said, I got, I got great defense. What fight was that? I forget I watch all this shit. <laughs> but I, I, I got great defense. That's something that I, like, I grew up, like, with my grandfather, he always taught me the, um, the art of boxing is to hit and not get hit. Swimming don't get wet, exactly. baby. Exactly. So yeah. The way that I was brought up, I always knew, like, okay, I want to be able to hit a fighter and not let them hit me back. And um, I trained myself every day out to make sure that's how my style was. And um, I know if I'm doing that, I'm the best fighter in the world. So. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Straight Talk. Are you paying too much for your wireless plan? Are you? Straight Talk just introduced the new Straight Talk multi-plan where more lines mean more savings. Just $25 a line. With unlimited data, talk, and text on nationwide 5G. So that's $25 a line. So that means if you got four people in the house, everybody in the house could get phones for $100 a month. Unlimited. 5G. I mean, what are we talking about? Straight talk. Because I mean, you straight talking all goddamn day. Ain't no stopping. Because it's unlimited on this for $25. Plus, no contracts, no hidden fees, no compromise. That's the Straight Talk talking from Straight Talk Wireless, available at Walmart and Walmart.com. So when you're in Walmart, you're paying these high fees, paying all these extra fees on these phone bills. You got eight people in the house. Everybody got a phone for $200 a month. Talk to me. No, Straight Talking is talking to you. Holla at Walmart and walmart.com so you could be straight talking right this episode of million dollars worth of game is brought to you by omega account solutions mm -hmm. attention small business within i'm talking about five to five thousand employees all you small businesses you are responsible business owners who have continued to pay taxes and employ staff during the pandemic omega account solutions is a small business champion i'm mm -hmm. talking about they're the champion they come helping to save you your day. and your business get back the money you deserve through the CARE Act. How much How much they give back? They get up to 26,000 per employee. So if you employee. have five employees, up to 5,000 employees, when you sign up for this. 26,000 per. You get 26,000 per employee. Recover the payroll taxes you overpaid as a refund. A refund up to twenty six thousand dollars per mm. employee, even if you got the PPP loan. Learn if you are a good candidate in less than ten minutes mm. with a free consultation. Omega was recently named the number one best ERC company for getting your ERC funds by by Merchant Maverick, a small business comparison and review site. There's still time to find out if you qualify and file your claim again up to twenty six thousand so dollars. Let me just break this down for you. Employee, if you got a small business, mm -hmm. you got employees, you might be owed some money. So all you got to do is ten take minutes. 10 minutes out your time, fill this out. If you got 10 employees, you might get 10 times 26,000. If you got five employees, yes. five times. If you got 150 employees, 150 times 26,000. It depends. It but depends. I'm going to say this. You gotta, before we find out any of this, you got to take 10 minutes to, to see if you qualify. And what I need you to do now is call 855-505-DAVE. 855-505-DAVE or, or visit Omega taxcredits.com slash Barstool Sports right now. That's how I feel about myself. So who are you supposed to be fighting next? It's some rumors, but I don't nah, know. Nah, it's already out there. It's already out there. It's uh, uh, Edwin De La Santos. He called you out. He came he in Newark. Calling me out. He, he came to Newark, New Jersey, out. didn't Look. he? He can't. He slid up on the. He slid, he slid up, slid up, up on the door. Yeah, he slid yeah, down yeah. the back. Yeah, block. he. Oh, he, he can't. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he not playing. <laughs> he ain't gonna lie. He was looking for you. Yeah, yeah he was. Lie. He was. But look, looking. he not so gangster because he was downtown. Oh, he was. He was downtown. Come on, man. Oh damn! Yeah. Yeah. He was down by the gallery. He was downtown. He took a video by City Hall. Yeah, he was right there by the Prudential. He wasn't doing shit. But look, he called me out. I answered the phone call. Frank pulled out next. Um, best available opponent is Edwin De La Santos. He's a fighter with big power. He's strong. He's a southpaw. Did he um, fight anybody? Yeah, I mean, he ain't fight nobody to my level. See, that's what I'm saying. He said they always y'all say that nobody. Fought. What's his record? He's under. Uh, no, no. He's 16 to one. 16 to one. But 
I'm gonna tell you now. Go watch him before y'all judge. No, I ain't. We're not judging him. No, we just say he's a he's a he's a really he's really is a solid fighter. Strong power. The man can got good boxing skills, uh, good reflexes, but he's not gonna be able to beat me. Man, what's going what's going on with you and Bill Haney, man? Man, Bill, Bill put I don't know who put the video out of Bill saying if it get too hot, da 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 da. Did you hear him though? Did you hear every word that he said? Yes. Okay, so if you heard every word that he said, why do he get in every interview speaking? He, he say my name all day, every day. All you hear Bill talk about is Shakur. Why do he talk about me so much? Why? Why, why, is, why is he so interested in me? Well, Bill might know the big money fight is you and Devin in a couple years. Man, man. Bill is cap. Bill know that I'll smoke Devin. And we're going to be real about the... Entire city. He know that I smoke Devin, but he got to he got to do what he got to do for his son. So you got to respect it. But Bill is a he's a that's why he tried to put that little video out of right. Uh, that was my the next. Trip. I know yeah. that I know who was coming next. Gilly, I know he put the video out of the sparring, and I said what I said, right? But look, did y'all watch my face? Did y'all see what I what was going on on my face? I was smiling at him, right? I was smi Why was I smiling? Was you really tired? If, if I was tired... I'm just asking you, because you said it. You, if you say it, I'm, oh, I'm tired. Because I'm going to tell you. Answer if I tell you I'm tired and I throw that white flag, I'm throwing it. This shit is hot in there. Answer the question, though. Go ahead. If somebody is dead tired, ready to quit and get out the ring, are they smiling? I know you've been in, you been in the boxing gym. Yeah. You done seen some... Oh, they be dead. They, uh, they dead tired. Sometimes people ready smile to get when they're nervous. The ring, they got their ass Sometimes with, right? people smile when they're nervous. Nah, I, come on. Bro. You know how you laugh in the dentist? You been there? Nervous? Why? Like, what's like, going on? Oh, it's, shit. It's I'm like, just saying, you look, know. Me and this man sparred, I want to say, three times that week. Uh, I want to I wanna say that was the last day. I just did eight rounds with him. I've been doing, I done done 10 rounds, eight rounds, however many rounds he wanted all week. I got off on him, beat him up again. Regular, regular shit going on. Tell them to post the actual video of the sparring. They got the video. They recorded that video. Tell them to, to post the sparring. And y'all see what happened in the sparring. Post every round. Every round, and then see what they say. See, see what the world think. Was I tired or man, I was, no, I've been in the gym a lot of times on, man, I was with capping, playing around with that man. Prime example, when 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 Tim got out on Terrence. Terrence all up in the gym. Terrence, let's go some more rounds. And Tim like, no, nah, dog, I'm good. So I, I understand what I'm you're saying from you. that side of things, because I have been in the gym. I don't know if that's what happened, but I have been in the gym uh, a lot of times where that happened, where a motherfucker get out on it, a motherfucker still want to go some more rounds. Like, no, nah, I'm, I'm through, dog. I'm done, done. I've been there before. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you saying was the situation. What I'm saying is I whooped his ass, sparred him a billion times. It wasn't, I'm not, I'm not about to he got off on you, be, did, did he night. get off on you too? Have he ever, is that the question? Yeah, have he ever had a day y'all yeah, like, like, sparred I mean, he and he got had, off on you? I mean, he probably had a day, but but my shit was way more times than he ever got off on me. But let me ask you a question. I respect that, though. I, I'm going to say this. Uh, hold on, man. I respect that, man. Because it don't cause nothing to keep it real. He got and out I of know it. all the blogs going to take this. They going to remix they gonna try it. To, yeah, they they going to chop and screw take it. That part. They going to take the little <laughs> small part. Yeah, he got out of No. Keep. Let it be known. That he sat here and he kept it real. Yeah, we sparred a gang of times. He probably had a time where, he, yeah, he might have got the best of me that day, but on the old so y'all like I got even, the best of him the most. Even though, That's no, what Bill told y'all. So you know what I mean. Listen to the video. He told y'all. He told y'all you didn't always got in on Devin. What that mean? He told y'all. He let y'all. He let y'all know what happened. I, I, you know, I got love for both camps, man. And I just want y'all when y'all do eventually fight. If it ever happened, I just want y'all to make the most money that it could possibly make. You know, because me personally, right now, I don't really believe it's the time for y'all to fight. I think it is. Yeah, because you just want some action, man. You ain't. <laughs> Why you don't believe that? <laughs> hold, on, hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I always want to say this. You, you because, you. cause it's a business. All right, and you give me got, the game. And you got two people that's really, really fucking great. See it, like him. And Javante it is, a, is, a, is a perfect fight for right now. Because Javante, like he said, Javante Davis has a star above his shit. 
He came in. He was up under Floyd. That's great marketing and promotion. And he ice. Yeah, ain't no joke. So when you come in, you up under Floyd, and you get the f out of here, you put in a coma, all the eyes going to be on you. So he had a hell of an introduction to the game, which was smart on his behalf. So, okay, you got Shakur Stevenson. That's the boxing world. Everybody knew this. They knew this since he was a kid. Facts. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? Now, the regular person is finding out. The regular everyday person is finding out about Shakur Stevenson. Yo, you don't know about him. So for him now to fight a star that, that go together. For, for Dev to be right here and Shakur right here and they like this and it, uh -uh, you need somebody up here and you need somebody up here because this is about numbers, but, bro. But can I, can I tell you why I disagree with it? Break it down. I disagree with it because you never, this 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 why Wilder and, and, and Joshua never really got to fight each other during the time that they were supposed to fight each other, right? You got one fighter in Devin, you got one fighter in me. Um, this dude just came close to losing his last fight. How y'all know he's not gonna get close to, how, how y'all know he's not gonna take an L? Then he takes the L, the fight goes down, right? So, so say he go fight Regis right now. Now, I, I don't, I'm not saying that I think Regis gonna beat him. I'm saying he go fight Regis right now, Regis beat him. What happens with me and Devin as a fight? Nobody wants to see it. But how many, how people, how many people going to tune into it for, for it right now? You know what I mean? When you, when y'all got, y'all got uber talent, bro. But, but, you feel what but I'm the saying? price that we'll make now is, it probably ain't as big as it could be. Right. But it could go down if somebody take it But that's always the opportunity. That, that was always an opportunity with Bud and Errol. You feel what I'm saying? One of them could have took a loss. Your Danish Ugas could have had a hell of a night and upset Errol. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's that's the risk of it. But, but Errol now and Bud, it, but imagine, both bad motherfuckers. But listen, oh, so you you, you gonna throw that out there? <laughs> Earl you and gonna Bud throw that out there? You gonna man. throw that out there? I'm that saying Dev what I truly feel, man. Dev not a bad motherfucker. He's a he's a he's a good fighter. Who? On, how many tickets? How many how many pay per views get sold? You and him fight right now? How many pay per views? I mean, it's gonna be interesting because at the end of the day, Devin don't. I mean. I, I'm a, I'll sell the out of it, so it'll, it'll sell good. I'll sell the out of it. How, how many pay-per-views? See, I, I, think if, I think if, if, just think about this. I think if Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence did 600 and something thousand pay-per-views, just imagine if they ain't let it build up more and able to afford two years ago. Shit might have did 400,000 pay-per-views. But imagine one of them wasn't like that. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Imagine one fighter wasn't like that. They was like that, but Earl helped it more with the, with the pay-per-view. Imagine Dev one fighter wasn't Dev, like that. Dev is, Dev, is hold, like you trying to say, that. hold on, I, I'm lost right here. See, you looking at it from a boxing oh, oh, oh. standpoint. Let me tell you something, let me say this. You looking at it from a boxing let me just standpoint, say in a ring, I'm, to, I'm looking at it from a fan standpoint, from just a general No, no, boxing. you looking at it from a standpoint, because you, you, you got a relationship with Devin. And we got a no, relationship no, no, no. with you. I got a relationship uh, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I got, love. No, 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 no. You, I'm saying, like, Bill, Jay, Prince, all right, everybody. Let's speak boxing, mm -hmm. right? Lemachenko wasn't the first kid that we seen with Devin. Who was the Who was the first kid? You, you, you. When you said it earlier, Lenares, Lenares. Oh yeah. If he but didn't no, he grab, beat. He beat Lenares. No, he handily. did. He whooped Lenares. Lenares is a fight. I think Anybody could get clipped. Honestly, look, look. I think that was his best performance before he got clipped. But I'm saying. The scare that he had, like the scare, like his whole family probably was up on their feet, nervous as hell. So he you don't think you could get him. clipped? I, I can. I can't. I'm just saying with him, I just felt like we done seen him in these scares that is getting closer and closer. And you know what problem is, too, though? I think that, I, and I told Dev, I told Dev this. I don't think it's a problem, but I said in the Lomachenko fight, Dev, I said, I, said, I feel I like. I think he slept on Lomachenko. I, I said, I feel like you felt as though you was longer, you was younger, you was stronger, you was faster, and you fought most of the fight right here in the pocket, where you could have jab, jab, you take a step and I take a step back, jab to the stomach, jab, jab, you take a step and I, you could have made the fight a lot easier. But it ain't easy to do that with his skills that he got. It's not easy to do that against a Lemachenko because Lemachenko, 
he giving up ground, but he's not giving up ground. So he's forcing Devin to stand right there because if he move a little bit, you never know. Lomachenko may gain confidence. Y'all never know. <laughs> he talking some real life because if he moves to that little left, it's then, boxing, yeah. man. But 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 we understand the you boxing. You seen it part. from a different lens. I I, I just you watch in boxing. There. I watch boxing all day, every day. That's what I do with my life. Like I I'm really a real boxer. Like I'm not no person who like talk. To, I really like I study boxing. I watch I watch that fight a hundred times. I watch Terrence and Earl a billion times. You I said watch, you was better than Terrence. And yeah, in my opinion, I'm better than everybody. That's my opinion. I'm, I believe in myself. I'm confident in my abilities. And you just said Terrence Crawford was the best. Yes. As of right now, as far as accolades, and who, who is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world? Terrence Crawford. Exactly. And I would never take nothing away from my big brother. I love him. Oh, no. Terrence Crawford is a bad mother. I think yeah. Terrence got about three more fights left, and he's going to call it quits. Man. Probably so. But... If you ask me, who do I think is the best fighter like in boxing as far as like- The I'm world. talking like, I, I think myself. That's how I, I truly believe in myself. Like I don't, I'm and you're not, not and, 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 and it's a beautiful thing because you're not just saying that because no, that's what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to say I'm the best. No, you really believe that. No, I believe in myself. Izzy, how do you feel about it? I feel as though he you're is definitely top five pound for pound. Who out of four? I think it's Terrence Crawford. I think, and I'm not talking off of accolades. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you go off accolades, you got to say Canelo. If I look no, at- No, you're Can saying skills. If, if, yeah, if I look at Canelo last motherfucking four or five fights, he don't look like Canelo Alvarez to me. Canelo Alvarez was a motherfucker who come in, hit you with the jab, he threw six punch combinations, bop, boop, bop, 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 bop. Now Canelo Alvarez follow you around and go, ha, ha. <laughs> so he not looking like Canelo Alvarez to me. I'm just keeping it real, bro. Yeah. You look at Canelo Alvarez at 154. You look at Canelo Alvarez at 160. You seeing him hitting Josito Lopez and them niggas with combinations. He threw a fucking 11 punch combination at Josito Lopez. Boop, bop, 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 boop, bop, bop. You don't see that shit no more. You don't see that shit. You see him walk around and he try to hit you with bombs the whole fight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, for me, I, right now, I'm saying skill. Uh, I, I want to hear. I want to hear. I'm saying bud. You, you know what you do see? Pay per view buys. It, right. That's all that matters. You're right. But, but, but I'm just but saying, I'm they gotta not, make the money. I'm not hating. I just keep it a hundred. I mean, well, Canelo for Floyd, but I'm just saying he got a whole country behind him. Right. He got, like our people don't be supporting us like we should be supported. That's how I feel. They don't. But like with them, like with the Mexicans and the Mexican culture, their entire country is gonna get behind the Canelo Alvarez, and everybody's coming to Canelo fights. And yeah, it's gonna be more just Mexican. because yeah. it's like yeah. he's a he, he. They stick together. I just feel like, like they stick together. For you me, know? I think it's Bud. I think it's Boots. I think it's uh, Shakur. I gotta put Inouye in there. Because he beat my f***ing young boy. Cool boy Steph. He's cool boy, he's coming back. And I gotta probably... I gotta put David Benavidez in there, man. He don't wanna fight him. They've been calling us out forever, man. Forever. How you feel about that file? Any uh, disputes? Any disputes in that file? I Talk mean, about I'm it. Not, I, don't, I can't dispute I might gotta put Devin in there. I'm me. I, I I look at Devin like he's skilled. Talking about skills, bro. Skills. He bro. just beat Lomachenko. Whatever. Look. And you watch the fight again, and you double back and said, "After I watched the fight, I what seen I everything." What did I just what did showed I say? you in my phone? When I go to my YouTube, finish what I said. You, finish what I said. What did he say? He might have pulled it off. No. What you say then? Yeah, yeah. There we go. I said I scored it a draw. Or did it, yeah, I said I scored a draw. Or or seven five Lumachenko. So at the end of the day, when you look back at it, it's like ah, it was a little more competitive than what I thought. And then yeah, bro, it, it was let, a little bit more. But I'm saying I wasn't giving him the fight. Okay, but let's. Because when I judge, I judge off of like clean punches. But, but okay, let's just let's just like 
he lost to Lomachenko. Okay. Boxing don't understand that Lomachenko is a one of one. He's a duck. He is a he ducked you, but as, fa duck. as far as doing some sh that nobody's ever done before. Nah, he's, he's a beast. He's a beast. He's a one of one. He's a beast. And went from the amateurs to the pros and said, mm -hmm. I'm going to sign with whoever get me a title fight, my first fight. They're like, bro, that ain't never happened in the history of boxing. What are you talking about? Now, but, but Bob I said, I can't get you a fight your first fight, but I could get you a fight against the number one contender. If you be him, then I'm going to get you a title fight in your second fight. As a pro, bro. He come in, he's the fastest. Nah, he's, he, he's definitely one of He's the, the fastest three weight division yeah, he, he's a beast. champion in the history he's of boxing. He's the best amateur boxer ever in the history of life. He he's won two gold medals at the Olympics. We not talking about no regular person. But my question with you right now. When you first started sparring him, it was very competitive. Yeah. It I, ain't competitive I, now, probably. I, I was younger. I was I was I was younger. But you but still was, was uber talented. I was a you wasn't either. you wasn't younger and it's like no, you a young Floyd, you a young Pennell Whitaker, you a young you a young person that's special. Then when you got in the ring, ninety nine percent of the people you get in the ring with, they get me with, and it's a one percent that is like oh this is a little good too. Like let me oh I gotta be on. He threw a punch that said like, you should hold on. Shit don't ever be that close. Yeah, hold up, wait, facts, hold up, let me. So Lomachenko was one of them people, right? Yeah, but I'm saying with your list. Now, I, I like your list. I ain't I ain't going away from your list. But I just feel like you you uh it's one fight that, that you also didn't say. I think it should have been uh well if it was my list, I would have put Tink up there. Oh dear, yeah, I'm, you tripping. Forget tank. Uh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Cause he got skills. I'm tripping, let me do my list over. Now you can't do, you can't no, redo no, no, the no, list. No. I gotta do my list over. I wasn't. I'm sitting here doing it off the fly. I gotta put Tank in there for sure. Yeah, yeah. I gotta put but, Bud but in there. I David put, Benavidez is I got, like. I gotta put. It's there, so I like it. No, I gotta put. Of course, I gotta put Inoue in there. Shakur in there, and the fifth one gotta be. I gotta put Devin in there, man. Damn. I got Devin accomplished <laughs> more than Benavidez. <laughs> man, okay. He did though. In boxing, I'm saying. But we're talking about you. Oh, you can't, because now you're contradicting your list, though. You said you wasn't talking about accomplishments. You said you were skill. skills. Right. That's so, why I said you're contradicting your so list. What I'm what trying to say, if, Devin if ain't you, got no skills? No, I'm now saying he's a, he's if, if, if I go for fighter. skill for skill with Devin and Benavidez, I feel like they both right here. So then the, 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 the that way You still forgot bit. Tank. Tank, Tank. I got to go with Tank 5. That's why I was saying we're no, talking I said about skills. Tank first. I said Tank, but. In, in your way, way me. you, and then I said David Benavidez. Okay. But then still, it's kind of hard because still, I would still give it to Errol because only one person beat Errol. You feel what I'm saying? So it, it, it could go up and it could, it could fluctuate. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think, you know, I, that, that's, that's my guys, Devin, Errol, Benavidez, any of them could go in there. You got Bud in there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Bud is the number one fighter in the world. For sure. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just going to let my man Boots prove a little bit more. Now, Boots a bad motherfucker. Boots somebody I came up like, me and who came up in there. And Boots a fucking animal. He a bad motherfucker. I know Boozy, Boozy and Boots got a lot of love for you, too. I, I got a lot of love for them, too. You know what I mean? They, they always talk highly about you. You know what I mean? So, but listen, man, we out here in Colorado Springs. Colorado, we, we already put the pads on, on. We had to pull up on you. You know, you've been in the news heavy lately. Heavy. That's because, that's because, man, listen here. Yeah, you I fed just, up. Nah, I'm not fed up. It just, I just speak my mind. I don't mind like speaking my mind, just like what y'all don't mind like speaking what I truly believe. Um, a lot of people try to twist and turn everything that I'm saying into something else, but it's cow. If you ask me a question, I'm gonna answer. If you ask me a question, I'm gonna answer the question. But if I answer the question, they gonna turn what I say into something else. But I mean, it's the life for me. I think too, I think I, I felt like when I was looking in your eyes earlier in the video, 
I seen a frustration, like somewhat a frustration of just like, these really don't want to fight me. Yeah. You know what I mean? But always remember, bro, things happen when God wanted to happen. You know what I mean? So you, so just stay the course. I ain't got to tell you to work hard because this all you know. Certain motherfuckers, I ain't got to call and never give them no, no work hard speeches. I ain't never got, I might got to give you, call you, give you a state of out the way speech. Yeah. What was you doing over there speech? Nah, yeah, I appreciate you. <laughs> you feel you what I'm that. saying? But I appreciate you. I ain't never got a call and say, you ain't working? I know I ain't never got to call Boots and worry about that. Yeah. I ain't, you ain't got to call Shakir, you ain't got to call Devin, you know these, they work and that's what they do, they live each boxing, boxing. Yeah. that's what they do. So, you know, when, it's, when God wanted to happen for you, it happened for you and it, and it probably happened the biggest for you. You said it probably happened what? The biggest for oh, you. Oh, trust me. Because, because you know, see, he, he might have made you wait the longest, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah I because, see what's going on. Because in his mind, I know where frustration come in at because in your mind, I'm the best fighter on planet Earth. Facts. And I'm seeing other fighters get accolades exactly. that you don't even really feel like they deserve because you like, you ain't beat me. Nah, you, it's you, my, my you frustration. You beat me, I'm that. My frustration is I just want to be, I just want to get an opportunity to prove myself. Right. Because a lot of people, because honestly, I put a lot of pressure on myself. When I say here, I talk to y'all or I talk to somebody else and I say what I feel, I put pressure on myself because I like the pressure. But it's not really pressure because you, you believe that. It's pressure, but I like it. I like putting myself in pressure situations. That makes me like, I stay, I, I'm the type of person, I'm going to rise to the occasion. But um, like I said, it's just very frustrating when you got a bunch of fighters that pump fake or per perpetrate like they want to fight, but they don't really want to fight. I would rather or respect it more if fighters just say like, I don't want to fight or just ignore the out of me. Ignore me, don't say nothing, keep it moving, go about your business. But don't sit here and act like you really want to fight me. Because what you, 26 now, 27? Yeah, 26. 26, yeah. So it's right about the time for you to have all major fights. Yeah. 28, I'm, I'm going to have the biggest fight. 27, man. Yeah, 27, 28, I'm, biggest fight going to happen. Speaking into, speaking into existence. I know. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. That's what you gotta do. If you, at the end of the day, it's like this. Us seasoned fighters, you know. <laughs> what? Um, what? I got, cuz. Black belt. I got 38 fights. Black belt. And you're still a seasoned fighter even if you win 31. If you lose 31 out of the 38, you're still a seasoned fighter. Come on, come on, Gail. Like, who keep getting in the ring like that? A loser. Most dudes <laughs> Sparring partner. Most you dudes would have gave up. Listen, he he knew sparring partners that got they whipped for a thousand. He ain't no sparring partner with a record like mine. Listen, he my he, record he see I did that sparring partners that, that got they whipped for a thousand camps. They still show up for that money. They should have been. They they go off. Hell no, no. Nah, nah, soon they be Niggas a lot be of sparring like partners. This. Hell no. Nah. Be looking like this. They still. And and you gotta understand this though. Most of my losses that I wouldn't even. Qualify them as losses. It's like 75% of them, my trainer through the talent. Okay, so it wasn't like it was a loss. You was getting your ass no, no, they, I felt like, listen. No, you ain't fire him. I Get felt like. new trainer. I felt like. Well, he did what he was supposed to do. He, he, did, what he, he was, <laughs> did what he was supposed to do. No, I'm just saying they threw the talent. I didn't know what was going on. Like, why would you do that, man? He man. did what he was supposed like, to do. So wait, did you fire him? No, it was multiple trainers that done that. Oh, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't just like him, you know, the one boy that started. <laughs> I mean, everybody telling you it's time to retire, man. Man, I don't need that type of trainer. That's, That's what why I kept firing him. <laughs> yeah. Nah, if you got 30 different trainers, you throw the towel. Come on. <laughs> no, I was like, <laughs> okay, so let me ask you a question. So if a fighter get a towel thrown in on him in three fights, is this time to throw the towel? No, retire? you got to keep going because you might. It might be that one no, fight that'll change anything. When the trainer yeah. throw the towel in, yeah. <laughs> when the trainer throw the towel in. That's like, that's like the ref ain't even said you had enough yet, but the trainer, like, I noticed he had enough. Like, you getting your ass whipped. Like, so if the trainer had to throw the towel in three different occasions, 
you that's retired time. Yeah, right? They don't mean you ain't, ass, they don't mean you can't fight. I'm, I had kept going. That man. mean you can't fight, brother. I had to keep going. Like it's your like, record means you can't fight. You shouldn't even be telling nobody your record, man. Right, seven and thirty-one. Type that's of shit. No, let know I was in the game. I was in it. Like yeah, I let people know. Yeah, I was in the game. Listen, think about this. Think about this. You know how many dudes say, yeah, I'm a real one. I'm from the streets. They never made no money in the streets for 15 years. They never won. They never got no trophies. They lost every year, every season of the streets. They lost, but they still qualified as a street dude, right? No. Uh, no. Hustler, or whatever, right? No. They was just a failure. The fuck was just. But they was decorating the scenery. Then you think all. I was they failed, man? I'm a part of. I'm a part of the boxing man. industry, yeah. and all of them was amateur fights. You was better off talking about that uh, taekwondo. Oh, no, no, I'm, I got 13 black belts in that. that that's why I switch sports. Yeah. Hey, side your biscuit, huh? That you be doing. <laughs> You be doing yeah, yeah that's called low quando. <laughs> that weird it's one. Low quando. I created my own stuff. <laughs> All that dumb shit. <laughs> oh, he talking about my uh, beef ribs. He yeah. talking about beef ribs. I'm yeah, going yeah. show you. I show him that joint. That's when he come. <clears throat> you, 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 he ain't never showed you beef I'm gonna show ribs. I'm going to show him. Hell no. Nah, I don't even need to see that. Oh, you got to add that to yours. Hell because you know nah. what I learned about a lot of y'all boxes? Y'all be thinking y'all slick too. See, I told you about this. I said, we watching the fire. I said, you know what I realized? All that stuff they doing training. A lot of that stuff go out the window. They just be making that when they be in the ring. A lot of stuff that you do in training, you be doing all these techniques. Y'all be making that up. Y'all get in the ring, something go wrong. Now y'all doing some other shit. Cause I be, you know how I know that? I be listening to the trainers. That ain't what I told you. Stick to the plan. Why you gotta say all that? Why you gotta say all that if you stick to the plan? That's how I know. I said these they gonna be, they be doing anything in it. Cause listen, I'm like, I, we was at the, we was at the farm. Like, yo, you see that? You hear that? You ain't sticking to the plan. If the trainer man, he's doing some new stuff. He remixes some. Shit. No, that don't mean freestyle. that though. You in there freestyle. That don't mean that. Cause my grandfather be getting mad at me, I'll be whooping. And uh, Bozy be getting mad at Bozy. Yeah, Bozy, yo. <laughs> That's how I know. Say Bozy and do some freestyle. Hey, he be fucking people up. Bozy, move your damn head, man. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your, what's your Bozy, papa be saying, though? Bozy and my grandfather, they hell of a trainers, man. Yeah, but what's your grandfather be saying, though? She be saying a lot, at man. He, he, me and him go at him. You ain't listening. You told me he wasn't listening one time. The craziest shit you ever told me, man. I ain't. I can't. I can't even put it out there. That nigga, that nigga crazy though. I'm talking about doing that. the fight, like during the fight. Oh, I tell you, I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got one for y'all. I promise you. When I fought Jamel, you watched that fight, Jamel right? Jamel Herring, yeah. I swear to God, I came back to the corner. This man told me, he said, "You let him back in the fight." <laughs> hey, <laughs> I had to look at look at my other coach like, "Hold the." F hey. I'm letting him back in the fight. <laughs> like, I'm like, shit. But, but, but you got to realize. It's Jamel, my man, but you whipped this shit out. But, Jamel. but, I think that shit kind of helped me because when he said that, it automatically clicked. Like, okay, now let me turn it back up. Even though I was turning it up, now I got to turn it up. I turn it up even more, man. So it kind of helped me. So, but my grandfather crazy, though. He had to, he had to check. I started looking outside the ring. <laughs> he was, he was like, damn. Jay, Jay. He said after the fight, yo, we used to go get pop up high school. Pop up high school, we used to go get pop up checked out. Now I hit Jamel with a 20 piece, I come back to the corner, he told me, you let him get back in the fight. That's <laughs> why I be pop up. Fight pop up. Well, if that wasn't the plan, he was supposed to be knocked out by then. So nah. that's let me know he did some freestyling shit. I think like the best trainers, like, uh, my grandfather and Bozy, um, especially like when they know like their their fighter, like I feel like they even when you're doing your best, they still want better. Like they still pushing you for even better. So I feel like even when I hear Bozy at the boost come to the corner, bro, you couldn't look no better in the Jamel Heron fight. You're probably right. But they still want more. How? Like that's a that's a great training. They want you to do some sh like that's like my f Michael Jordan dad as he jumped from the foul line told him now jump from the key. It's like it's like a great trainer. I think a great trainer don't put no limitations on their fighter. So even at your best, it's still more. It's always something better that you could do. So I just feel like with my grandfather and like Bozy, I think that them honestly from what I see, them two are the best trainers in in boxing. And Bo Mac, and Bo Mac, and Bo Mac. How many times I told you that? Say that. How many times I told you? You be saying that. The whole city of Philadelphia, you do one motherfucking thing. You want some real work, nigga? Go over top of that man. But, but see, you gotta understand, back in the day, see, 
Back in the day, see you young. Back in the day, my teacher, Karate Earl and Bozy. Oh, man, come on, man. Right. Now, you already right, know, right, listen, you already listen, know Bozy and Karate Earl. All right, man, listen, man. He told you listen, that. Listen, man, we, we here, man. The it, started it started for martial arts. It started for martial arts. Didn't win the box. Me? Come the on, man. man. He, had to, he had to get a lot of things off his chest, man. We here. Now we're going to get a lot of things. Show him a and couple we, moves. And we just had you know to come, you know, show him some love because that's what we do. You know what I mean? We here to amplify. Yes. You know what I mean? Terrence, you a while or a sparring session too. I'm not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I, don't, no, I can't no. tell you out there like that. I'm still amateur. No, no. I'm an amateur. I spar amateur. <laughs> I spar for professionals in mixed martial arts, but not in boxing. He's a bitch. <laughs> he just bitched out like that. No, no, no. He's a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm but uh, with amateurs. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Me, 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 me. You know what? I'm coming with my, my what's name. Anybody want to fight out there? Listen, I'm ready to start my own boxing. I'm a trainer slash promoter. You want to, you want to, you know, you want to get into boxing? Man, shut the up, man. And it's just like that. Right.